welcome to this practice. Let's start by centering with the breath. So standing with your feet planted into the earth, spread your toes, press your big toes into the mat and lift your inner arches. Standing comfortably, turn your palms open. And with your inhalation, lift the arms up at shoulder height. With your exhalation, take them overhead and cross at the wrists. With your inhalation, return to shoulder height and exhale, returning the arms back by your side. Full, even breaths. Exhale, taking the arms overhead, alternating the wrist cross. Inhale, back to shoulders and exhale, returning the arms by your side. Let the breath guide the movement. Inhale back to shoulder height and exhale the arms back by your side. Let's practice twice more. Really filling the lungs with the inhalation and emptying them completely with the exhalation. One more. full and complete resting the arms down let's slide the hands down the knees so having the feet about hip width apart for standing cow and cat pose so I'll show you the side version so with your inhalation open your chest lift the chin gaze up the back concaves with your exhalation round the back bow the head inhale open and exhale contract And the breath guides the movement rather than the movement guiding the breath. It's a great warm up exercise, flexion of the spine. Inhale, open the chest, spread sitting bones. And with the exhalation, let's curl up to standing. Taking the hands to the lower back, press the hips forward. With your inhalation, let's come back up to standing. Feel grounded into the feet and let's interlace the fingers with palms down. So bringing the feet a comfortable distance apart, we're going to do a balance. Find a drishti or focus point on the floor or on the wall ahead, an unmoving object to fix your gaze. With your inhalation, Draw the arms up by the ears, press up through the palms of the hands and come up onto your toes. Draw the ribs back, keep the breath flowing. Soft gaze. And with your exhalation, let's lower the feet down, taking the hands behind the head, inhale, tall spine, exhale, let's twist to one side. Inhale, come back to center, lifting tall, and exhale, let's twist to the other side. And with your inhalation, let's come back to center and exhale, release the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, catch hold of your left wrist and exhale, taking a side bend. With your inhalation, drop through the center, catch hold of your right wrist and exhale, side bend to the other side. Be aware of the open side of your body. And with your inhalation, come up through the center. Exhale, that swan dive, bending the knees as you go. Uttanasana, forward bend. And with your next inhalation, draw the heart forward, hands to the shins or to the floor. Nice flat back. And with your exhalation, let's take the right leg back to the lunge, onto the fingertips, 
Draw the shoulders back away from the ears and gaze forward. Heart space open. Let's step back to downward facing dog with your exhalation. So your feet are hip width apart, your hands shoulder width apart. You may be onto the balls of the feet with knees bent. Give your, your back a good stretch. The heels may or may not touch the floor. And let's lower to the knees and with your exhalation, sink back to child's pose. Feel the length in your spine. Look between your hands and undulate the body forward, lowering the hips. Take a moment to lengthen your lumbar, your lower back, and curl the toes. Inhale, curl the upper back for cobra, shoulders draw back, elbows hugged in and slightly bent. Curl the toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. You may want to transition to your knees first. Let's bend the knees, look between the hands, slip the right foot through or walk through. Adha Uttanasana, draw the heart forward. Exhale, release, forward bend Uttanasana. Inhale, let's lead up with the heart. Taking the arms overhead, press the hips forward. And exhale, lower your hands to your heart, return home. Inhale, float arms back and up. Exhale, swan dive, hinge from your hips. Inhale, look forward, Adha Uttanasana. And exhale, let's step the left leg back to the lunge and pause for a breath or two. Stay on your fingertips. Hug into the midline, open your heart, shoulders draw back, gaze forward. This is your drishti. Step back to downward facing dog with your exhalation. Giving the back a good stretch, really grounded through the hands, press into the finger pads, the neck just relax between the arms. Let's lower to the knees, exhale, child's pose, Balasana. A resting posture to connect with our breath. Look between the hands, once again, undulate the body through, uncurl toes, cobra with your inhalation. Exhale, curl toes under, downward facing dog. Pausing here for a few breaths. So it's a posture we return to again and again in our yoga practice. But each time we experience it differently. Always come to the yoga practice like a beginner and be present. We're not simply going through the motions. We're really tuning in to the body's feedback. Practice with the body you have right now. So let's bend the knees, look between the hands, step the left foot through. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, release, let go, Uttanasana. Round into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up. Press the hips forward. Exhale, return to home. Hands at your heart. Inhale, arms draw back and up, little back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Feel free to bend the knees, keeping the spine long. Inhale, look forward, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, let's step the left leg back this time first into a lunge. Walking the hands round to the left. Let's splay the feet so we're in preparation for a side to side motion. So with your exhalation, bend the right knee in the direction of the toes. And with your inhalation, come up to center. Exhale, bend the knees, the left knee in the direction of the left toes. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side to side motion. Inhale, draw up, long spine. Exhale, bend the knee. The breath guiding the movement. Stay in your comfort zone. Anytime you feel discomfort, 
take a rest, modify the posture, go lighter. So let's do one more round, finishing with our left knee bend. Make a good, full, even breaths. Turning the feet in, and let's walk away around to the right to frame the right foot. This time, step back to plank pose, high push up position, body on one plane. You may like to lower the knees for more support. Inhale at the top, exhale, lower the body all the way to the floor. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, Cobra Bhujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press the chest back gently. Notice your breath become more audible as the body warms and holds the postures. So let's bend the knees, look between the hands, either step or jump to the top. Inhale, look forward, Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, fold in, Uttanasana, feel free to bend the knees. Inhale, let's rise, give the sky a big hug. Press the hips forward. Exhale, hands at your heart. Gently belly, drawn back and up towards spine. Inhale, lift the arms with the breath. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, look forward, Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, let's step the right leg back this time to the lunge. So walk round to the right. Ground your feet so the outer edges of the feet are parallel to each other. Prasarita Padottanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk the hands back, resting the crown of the head to the floor if it reaches. You may like to place your hands on blocks to bring the floor up to you. Just hanging out here, making sure that your neck is relaxed. This forward bend allows us to let go of anything that's not serving our higher good right now. Empty the mind of any doubts or worries, any criticism. As you breathe in, breathe in strength and inspiration. Cultivate loving, cheerful thoughts to enhance prana in your body. With your inhalation, let's walk the hands out. This time centering the left hand. And with your inhalation, roll the right arm up to the sky for a twist. Catch a glimpse of your top hand. Lower the chin towards your shoulder to lengthen the back of the neck. With your exhalation, let's swap hands. Inhale, roll the left arm up, turning the heart to the other side of the room. Perhaps catching a glimpse of the top hand if that's appropriate for your neck today. And with your exhalation, let's lower. Again, hands under shoulders. Inhale, draw your heart forward. Nice long spine. Exhale, fold back in once more, releasing the neck. You may like to gently shake and nod the head to make sure it is completely relaxed. And with your inhalation, walk the hands back out once more. Exhale, walk the hands round to the left to frame the left foot onto the toes of the right. Let's step back to plank pose, high push up position. Inhale at the top and exhale, let's move the body forward and lower all the way to the mat. Uncurl your toes, inhale cobra. Heart open, exhale, downward facing dog. Really ground into the toes, press the big toes into the mat, take the weight into the outer edges of your feet and lift your inner arches, ground the heels if they touch. So let's bend the knees onto the toes, look between the hands either step or jump. 
Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Long spine, exhale, release, forward bend. Inhale, rise to standing. Reach for the stars, press the hips forward. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, chair pose, bending the knees, sweep the arms by the body. Neutral spine gazing up between the hands. So we're going to do a twist here. And with your exhalation, take your hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Using it as leverage, just twist round. Inhale, release and press up to stand. Exhale, returning to chair pose. With your next exhalation, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, let's twist to the other side. So left elbow to the outside of right knee, using it as leverage to twist and open the heart space. With your inhalation, come back to center and press up to stand. Exhale, let's swan dive this time. Uttanasana, releasing, letting everything go. Inhale, look forward, out of Uttanasana. And exhale, let's step the right leg back to the lunge. Let's prepare for a twist. So grounding your right hand under your shoulder, left hand to your hip. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, let's turn the navel and the heart to the left. If it's okay for you, reach the left arm into the sky. Twists are great for keeping the internal organs a good squeeze. They do the job of a chiropractor. They help to improve suppleness of the spine. And with your exhalation, Let's return the hands to the floor. Taking the hands to the inside of the left foot, walk that hand over. So we're gonna come into lizard, either keeping the knee lifted for a stronger practice or lower the right knee. Lower down to the forearms if that's appropriate. And pause here. With your exhalation, let's release from the posture, framing the left foot. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, left leg back this time for the lunge. So let's prepare for the other side, taking the right hand to right hip, left hand under shoulder, level your hips, hug into the midline, tailbone down and under. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, turning the navel and the heart to the sky, perhaps reaching the right arm into the air. Catch a glimpse of your top hand if that's appropriate for your neck, lowering the chin to your shoulder. Activate your abdominals, giving your abdominal region a good twist and rinse out. Great for improving digestion. Let's take the hand down to the floor, walking the right foot over in preparation for this. And a great hip opener. You might like to lower the left knee, I prefer it that way. So either palms flat with arms straight or lower to the forearms. Pausing here for a few breaths, being aware of where you feel the opening and stretch. With your exhalation, let's come out of the posture, framing the right foot. This time, let's step back to down facing dog, lowering to the knees, and sinking back to child's pose.
Connect with your breath. And from here, let's come up a little in preparation for an inversion. So we'll practice Shashanka Asana, which is hair pose, so that you get a good idea of how you feel inverted and placing weight on the crown of your head. If, it, if you feel discomfort, come out of the posture, practice child's pose or another restful posture that you enjoy. So onto the heels to begin with. We're going to place the crown of the head, the very top of the head to the mat and the arms by the side. So starting in child's pose where you're on the forehead, Shashanka Asana hair pose, roll up onto the crown of the head. You may be able to hold on to your heels or just let your arms relax by your side with palms open. So just noting, noticing the sensations at the crown of your head. If you're on a hard floor then you may wish to put a folded up blanket, nice flat surface um, but a little bit of cushioning with the blanket. and calming posture when your body is used to being inverted in this way. So just checking you're not on the forehead, that you really are on the top of your head, the crown of the head. Look at the world upside down. And let's roll back down to the forehead to regular Balasana child's pose. which is tripod headstand but without having the legs extended up vertically. It's a great preparatory posture for headstand. To do the posture we might we draw a triangle on our mat. So an even sided triangle. Our hands will be at the base of the triangle and the crown of the head at the top. So make sure that your hands are not too close to the crown of your head and we want to create right angles with our elbows. So we draw the triangle and we place our crown of the head at the top of the triangle. You can see that I've got the right angles in my elbows and my hands are not too close to my ears. So I might need to do some adjusting. So onto the toes, walking up to the elbows, place one knee on top of elbow and then the other. So I'm finding that my hands might be a little bit too far back, so gently coming out and bringing them just a, a centimetre a bit closer. I'm taking one knee and then the other knee to the top of the elbows. So if it is your first time, just practice doing one knee at a time. Make sure that you're, you're in a cushioned surface, but don't place a, a cushion underneath your head because it would be uneven. You need a flat surface. So once you're in the posture, it feels quite serene and tranquil. If you feel any trembling, or you're really fighting to stay in the posture, then something's not quite aligned. It really should be quite effortless, this posture, once you've got the right alignment. As with all yoga postures, if you feel discomfort, if something doesn't feel right, we can skip it or do an alternative posture. If you're familiar with headstand, then more than welcome to lift the legs up into tripod headstand. Noticing how you're using your core a whole lot more in this posture. When you're ready, lowering back to crane pose. And let's lower one foot at a time to the mat, lowering the knees, returning to child's pose with the arms by your side.
inverted postures like crane pose are very good for our health. They allow fresh blood flow to the upper part of our body. It tones the vital organs, the liver, kidney, spleen. Helps to regulate the adrenal glands, helping us to feel calmer and more centered. So when you're ready, let's lift the upper body. Take a moment to adjust. If you feel some dizziness, feel free to just sit for a moment. So let's do a twist. So taking your right foot over your left and left foot by the right buttock for Adamatsyandrasana. Take right hand behind and left arm across the body. Inhale, lift tall and exhale, twist round to the right. your exhalation come back to center and let's take the other leg over the top so left foot over right leg and right foot by left buttock take left hand behind right arm across the body inhale lift tall and exhale let's twist round keeping the spine long the heart space open With your exhalation, let's release. Taking the legs out in front, giving them a good shake. Let's practice sleeping tortoise. So the soles of the feet are together and your legs take on a diamond shape. Take an inhalation and lift out from your hips and with your exhalation, thread your arms underneath your knees and place them on the tops of the feet. Bowing the head once you've reached that nice extension of your spine. Allow the heart rate to slow. And with your inhalation, let's take the arms back out and bring the knees up. As a counter pose, let's practice Pavottanasana, a variation of it, tabletop. So your hands underneath your shoulders, knees bent and hip width apart. Press into your hands, inhale, open your heart, gazing up. If it's okay for you, lifting the hips off the floor and releasing the headband if that's appropriate for your neck. invigorating to open the front body. With your exhalation, let's lower back down, resting the chin towards the chest, lengthen the back of your neck. Take a rest breath and with your next inhalation, let's practice another round. Inhale, opening the heart, lifting the hips off the mat and releasing the head back if appropriate. With your exhalation, lowering the buttocks down, lowering chin to chest. One more round, pressing into the feet, open the heart, inhale, lift the hips, releasing the head back. With your exhalation, lowering the buttocks down. Let's straight the arms over the legs and bow the head as a counter pose. And when you're ready, roll onto your back for Shavasana. Take a moment to make a little adjustment so that your skin's not being pulled in any places. Your spine is long. 
your neck in line with your spine. Have your legs outstretched. If you feel discomfort though, you may wish to bend the knees and have all of your back contacting the floor. Relax your arms by your side with your palms turned open. Gently close down your eyes. Back of your neck comfortably long. Let's practice three full yogic breaths, breathing in and out through your nostrils. And as you inhale, let the belly swell and let it travel up to the chest and collarbones, really filling the lungs. And with your exhalation, let the breath flow in the opposite direction, like a wave from your collarbones to your chest, and then the lower belly deflates. So inhale from the bottom of your torso right up to the top. And exhale, empty the lungs from the top of the torso right down to the bottom. Three full yogic breaths without strain in your own breath rhythm. natural pace. Soften all of your facial muscles. Ensure the teeth are unclenched. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Soften your arms. Loosen your elbows, wrists and fingers. Feel your back muscles and relax them. Relax your abdomen and your lower back. Take your attention to your hips and loosen them and allow them to sink down to the floor like an anchor sinking down to the bottom of the ocean floor. Allow the legs to be heavy. The leg muscles soften and expand along the mat. Loosen your knees. Relax the area behind your knees. Loosen your ankles and toes. Let your feet fall away from each other. So from the crown of your head right down to the soles of your feet. Your body is completely relaxed and free. Take two deeper breaths to awaken the body. Take the arms overhead and stretch in opposite directions. Bring the arms back by your side, hugging the knees in, gently rock from side to side. Roll on to the right side. And when you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great day or evening. Namaste.